What's up, Coach? Welcome back to uh, this week's episode. First off, I want to say uh, everyone who's been sending me questions, thank you for doing that. The best way to get in touch with me, send me a text at 210-960-5771. I am completely removed off of social media, so if you have sent me a message on Instagram or on Facebook, I'm not there. Um, I focus my time helping coaches that are part of our consulting program and filming these YouTube videos. That's it. Um, so if you want to message me, ask me questions, go text me. Now, this week's episode, uh, I got a really long message from this coach and I'll summarize it here. Basically, he's been working with a group of high school kids that this is a brand new group that he's working uh, that he's been working with that I think he's been working with him for maybe three weeks and he said that at his last session a couple of the kids were cursing at him like he would try to give them instructions and they were blowing them off and you know they were mumbling things under their breath uh, and he could hear them and he didn't know how to handle that and he went on to, to say how, you know, after the session, he felt like he should have said something, but he didn't. Um, and when he wrote me this question, he was asking for advice. Now, here's my approach. And uh, my approach might not fit uh, with every coach out there, but this is exactly how I handle it because I have been in that situation before. Uh, I had a nine-year-old once drop an F-bomb on me. Uh, at a session in front of other nine-year-olds. So, like, I mean, it's a terrible feeling to have kids talk down at you. Um, and what you want to do is you want to discipline kids, which is something that, uh, you know, most parents don't dis discipline their kids. I see too many coaches, uh, especially now in 2021, that are too soft with kids. They'll let kids say whatever they want, act however they want, and at the end of the day, your business is a reflection of the standards that, that you create. And if you're not going to discipline kids when they do that to you, then they're going to keep doing it. And they're going to treat you like you're like their, their math teacher, that they can say whatever they want to. And a coach should be a leader and a mentor. A coach should never be run over by kids. Um, and you need to set the example. So this is how I handle it, right? If I'm at a session and there's a kid that does something like that to me, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them to the side and I'll ask them, I'll say, hey, what'd you say? And see how I'm staring at the camera here. I, I will look at them like that. Um, and I'll see if they repeat it. 99.9% .9 of the time, that kid will not repeat it. All right, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is I'll, I'll let them know, hey, at my session, we don't use language like that. And here's why. And I'll let them know, if this happens again, this is what I'm going to do. Right? Now, that might feel weird uh, because most coaches uh, don't, don't discipline kids like that. But I'm not going to go tattletale and tell their parents. I'm going to talk to the kid. If the kid's in high school, they're old enough for me to discipline them. And I can discipline them however I want. It's my program, right? It's not their program. They don't get to come in and say whatever they want to me. They can't treat me that way. And if they do, that's on me, right? That's because I'm setting too low of a standard. So I like doing that because I want the, the athlete to realize I am in charge. They are not in charge. And if they're going to treat me that way, I'm just going to cut them from my program in two seconds. And if it gets to the point where I do have to tell their parents, then I will tell the parents exactly what their kid said to me. And then I'll let the parent take it up with their kid after I cut them out of my program. Right? So the moral of the story here is don't let kids run over you. Right? You need to step up. You need to be the leader and mentor to these kids. And you need to come in. And you know when you have to speak up, you need to speak up and let people know that this is your program. This is not their program. That's it for today's episode. Hopefully this helps. Talk to you later. Hey coach, thanks so much for listening to today's episode. If you would like to connect with me, send me a text message at 210-960-5771. 
And if you would like a discount to any of the programs that we have over at our website at buildmysportsbiz.com, simply head over to www.buildmysportsbiz.com. When you get there, you can see the list of the different programs that we have. Simply click through there, and once you get to the checkout page on any program, you can use the coupon code PODCAST, and when you use the coupon code PODCAST, you get a 25% discount on any product that we have. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening. I'll catch you later.